Hey guys, what is going on? Mason here from the Card Bros. Today I'm going to be o going over whether you should buy Filmora and whether you should buy the full version. So, like, Filmora is very good. I, I do sometimes use it still, just I find because you can only export with a big watermark with the full version. And the only way option around this is screen recording, which sometimes a heads up is I can get a very lagging the timeline can start lagging when I add many videos, videos and images. I don't know if it will work now, but I'll just add a few clips and see if this happens. So let me see. So when I play this, it will just take a little bit to load. Probably, it probably won't actually show at the moment, but yeah, as you can see here, it is actually lagging. The frame rate is a lot slower and just doesn't make an overall great video. So that's just why I don't use Filmora as much as I would like. I'm actually using HitFilm for Express most of the time. So I might I have some videos on that in the description, no, in on the channel, so you can check out some of them. Now, getting into Filmora. So the, f the free version, I mean, it it's free to download. It doesn't take up too much space and it's a good software. So yeah, I would recommend just downloading it because it is free. Now you have many features such as music, text credit, transitions, filters, overlays, elements, and a split screen. That's just the basics. Then inside of that, you can add freeze frame effects, you can add green screen, and you can add so much more. Now, heads up, like I'm gonna be honest and say HitFilm, in my opinion, does have more features than Filmora. Now, if you don't know what HitFilm is, it's another well, HitFilm 4 Express is another free to download software which you can export with. Um, it is like, if you want to get the full version, it's HitFilm Pro, which adds many extra effects and a couple of other features. But would I recommend the full version? I guess yes, depending on how much you'd like Filmora, I would recommend it. If it's something you'd probably only use a couple times, I probably not because you'd have to really like this software and how Filmora works. It is very simple. So if you're a beginner and wanting to get into it, video editing, I do recommend it. Just it's whether you want to commit and pay the bit of money to export and have a couple of other features. Like, what would I rate it out of 10? Like, I'd probably rate this software probably a 7 out of 10 for, um, like, for the amount of effects that it has and the amount of features and like 10 out of 10 for how basic and easy it is for beginners but even for more advanced people this is very basic and i do recommend this software that's really one that i wanted to talk about in this video like it is a very good software for beginners and more advanced people you have many features and it's just an overall great software so that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, why not just leave a like? It means a lot to me. And even subscribe if you feel like it, because it just really helps out the channel grow. So that is the end of the video. I will see you next time, guys. Bye.